Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to Bristol, United Kingdom. You're going to see what looks like a triangle craft parked in the nighttime sky. Almost looks like it's recharging in a lightning storm. You're also going to see an incredible lightning storm above Oklahoma. Video sent in just a few weeks ago of lightning that looks like the, the video is literally in fast forward, but it's not. Looking at the homepage of the website here, really cool photo sent in by Denise R out of Winnie, Texas. Photo of Saturn from last night. More than likely that was taken with a 14 inch telescope. That's an excellent view of planet Saturn. And since we're here at the homepage of the website, quick look at the Schumann resonance. You can see in the, the last 24 to 48 hours, there's been multiple large spikes and two of the, the main spikes, the bigger ones, both started at 18 and 1900 respectively. There, and there looks like some sort of a pattern, maybe something being detected on a 24-hour cycle. Looking at the planetary K index, you can see there was a brief geomagnetic storm very early on June 26th. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, looking at the seismographs and monitor the mighty supervolcano. A little bit of earthquake activity in the north northwest like we've been seeing that's a, a common trend now for the last few days if not few weeks and then there's an absence of data here in the the northeastern part of the lake borehole is showing an absence of data borehole b944 is also showing an absence of data for some reason and then this one here borehole b950 i don't know if that's some sort of a mechanical glitch but for whatever reasons those three seismographs are showing an absence of data looking at the hurricane situation right now as we are in hurricane season in the northern hemisphere over here on the Atlantic side in the Atlantic Basin. You can see there's a disturbance in the northern Gulf of Mexico that has a 10% chance of formation in the next 48 hours. This one down here has a 10% chance of formation in the next 48 hours as well. Coming way out here into the what they call the main development region. This here is number two, this red X. This one has a greater potential of forming in the next 48 hours. 70% and then 90% throughout the course of five days as it enters the South Caribbean Sea and finds its way free and clear of the majority of the Sahara sand. This one back here, they're saying pretty much a 0% chance of formation in the next 48 hours, and here's why. This big glob of Sahara sand moving across the Atlantic once again, and that's right in the main development region. So it's going to be next to impossible for any type of hurricanes to form in the middle of of that very large dust plume that's making the 4,000 mile journey from the Western Sahara clear over to the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. I want to take you guys now to Oklahoma. Video footage was submitted of some amazing lightning that was almost non-stop. This was from Oklahoma back on April 30th of 2022 at 1230 in the morning. Video footage taken by Linda out of Stillwater, Oklahoma. This is not in fast forward. This is the original speed and that's why she took the video she was very taken back at the the overall intensity and speed of the lightning itself in the sky above Oklahoma again this is not in fast forward the lightning was just constant there for a while as storms were moving through the area above Stillwater Oklahoma again this was back in the early morning hours of April 30th of 2022 I want to take you guys now over to Bristol United Kingdom video footage sent in by Fussy Pup Two, two, two. Check this out. Speaking of lightning, we had a lightning storm a while back over in the United Kingdom. And Tom happened to notice in his video footage. Let me back that up again and show you guys what showed up in slow motion. Look at that. That does not look like your typical cloud. There looks like something up here that is of intelligent origin. See the nice sharp angle there? Clouds don't typically, especially in the dark, form very sharp angles like that with lightning coming off the end of it. And that's what you just saw, and you're going to see it again right there. Here's a different view, a different segment of the same video. Looks like lightning coming off of this object, whatever it is, almost like it's pulling in or harnessing some of the energy of this storm. That's kind of how you interpret what you're seeing here, or unless it just simply took on a lightning strike, but that looks like a triangle craft just sitting up there in the sky, in the nighttime sky, blending in quite well until the lightning lights up the cloud, and then there you see it right there. Looks totally out of place, does not look like a natural cloud by any stretch of the imagination. Look at that. 
Great observation once again by Tom Fussy Pup 222 out of Bristol, United Kingdom. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.